Hi, Coach Mel here with the big four of your functional fitness movements. You might know this as our PST standards. You're saying to yourself right now, Coach Mel, um, I know how to squat, I know how to sit up, I know how to push up, I know how to pull up, but do you? Do you? Because time and time again, we get out there to a 20X, we get out there to a core coral camp, and people are failing on these really rudimentary basic movements. Today, we're gonna go over simply the air squat. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna start from the ground up. My feet, there they are. They're looking pretty good. This is uh, my mountain pose. This is an athletic position. I can go this way, I can go this way. I can do a lot of things out of this position. I got a nice, slight bent knee. I'm very relaxed. I could probably stay in this position for a very long time, and I have at Kokoro Camp. If I come out here like this distance, which is shoulder distance, this is okay too. So the foot is a variable for your air squat. So it's really important that you move your feet around when we go over the other four points of performance, enabling you to find the best foot position for your air squat, your mobility. Awesome. I'm gonna come on back to here because this is good for me. From this, I wanna make sure I have all points of my foot engaged in the floor. I can feel my big toes screwing into the ground, literally like this kind of a movement. I can feel the outside of my foot. I can feel the ball of my foot and my, and my heel all driving into the ground, rooting into the ground, okay? Great, we're there. Next, my hips are gonna initiate. They have got to come back for that knee to bend. Coach Mel, I can bend my knees without engaging my hip. Yes, but then you're gonna have that knee jutting out over that foot, which is a dangerous position for your body. So my hip's gonna float back, my chest is gonna remain high, my hip floats back, my hip floats back, and what you can see happening, my third point of performance is my knee starts to crack. So as I come on down, my hands can be out here, my hands can be out here, my hands can be here. I'm gonna counterbalance here, and also I wanna remain with my chest high, which is my fourth point of performance. So hip is cracked, knees are bent, foot is fully engaged in the ground, and that hip starts to draw back, draw back, draw back to avoid jutting that knee over that toe, and that chest remains high. And then last but not least, depth. I'm coming down below parallel in my squat. And then I'm standing up and out of that movement. Awesome. Now that was pretty good for me, but if it wasn't, I'm gonna try it again. Move my feet out slightly. Turn the toes out slightly. Good. Screw that foot in. Engage that hip. Knees bend, knees bend, knees bend. All the way down and standing. Chest remains high. The most important point of performance is your breath in every movement that you do. Okay? Um, Commander Devine's a huge advocate of making sure you connect your breath with your movement. And when you're dealing with your air squat, it's really important that you support through your core, through your diaphragm, through your chest, while you descend into the bottom of that squat. Well, that looks like this. You take a deep breath. And I'm gonna head on down, and then I'm gonna blow it out on the top. And once you do this a few times, you're gonna understand why we're asking you to hold that breath on the way down. And blow it out on the top. It's gonna to engage your core muscles. It's gonna engage all of your leg your chest, even your arms, okay? It's also gonna help you have nature's own weight belt supporting all your organs inside as you descend down to the bottom of that squat. Your job now is to go take a short video of yourself or a few pictures and analyze if you are hitting all five of those points of performance. Feet, hips, knees, chest, and finally depth. If you find that you're having some issues with any of those five points of performance, we're gonna move on to our next section, which is ways to solve the problems that you're having with your squats. So here you are, you've identified a few of your problems with your squat, and you're ready to take action. Great job, okay? Don't show up to camp performing a bad air squat, please. Because I'm gonna have you watch this video 100 times if you do. No, I'm kidding. Okay, so I've got a few tools here. This is an expensive one, the TRX, but well worth its weight in gold. 
This can get you mobile in so many different facets. You're gonna see it in the other three uh, videos as well. So keep a lookout for it. For our squat, it's the first thing that we wanna use because this is a stationary hold, okay? That means there's no give. It comes this way and that way a bit, but um, basically I'm gonna be able to support my entire body weight with this TRX mechanism, okay? So I'm gonna come out to the side here, find a good position, and I can keep my hands drawn in, or I can float back like this a little bit, two different ways to perform this squat here. I'm gonna do it like this first. So this is gonna help me keep my knees and my hips back. So remember, we don't wanna come all the way passive down like that. So we wanna to come to about there. That chest is high, shoulders are pinched back, and I'm in an active position all the way through the leg, squeezing all the way through the glute. Once again, if you just come to here, you haven't completed your squat. You need to engage those glutes at the top. Coming back down, hips down, hips down, knees out, knees out, and standing back up into it. You can do a lot of these, but they do become difficult after 20 or so. So don't be fooled just because you're assisting yourself with your body weight. You could also keep these arms closer to yourself like this, and then come on down, and then you can pull yourself up a little bit more using that. That seems easier for you. Some of my clients like to do it that way. So don't be shy. Just make sure you're adhering to those points of performance of your squat. Uh, next, you can move up to a band. So this is gonna help with your chest high. Your hands are gonna probably be above your head. And once again, I'm gonna find that position, my squat position. Coming on down to the bottom of that squat, adhering to those points of performance. And I've got some give here, right? So I mean, like I've gotta do a lot of work to help myself out. So if I'm new to squatting, you definitely wanna start with something stationary to help you out. This is level two. Coming on down and here. Got a little bit of hold in that arm. That chest is high, once again. Great tool to use when you're working on your points of performance, your squat. Um, every day you eat dinner, you sit at your desk all day, you have an opportunity to train your squat. So here I am, this could be my, my desk, could be anywhere, could be a restaurant. I'm gonna work my depth here, I'm gonna work my chest and work my knees. I go to sit down probably, I don't know, at least 50 times a day. I'm gonna push that hip back, those knees are out, that chest is high, and I'm not gonna to touch. I'm gonna to come all the way back up. And as you can see in this video, I'm not even at depth yet. So if you're having a depth issue, the knees shooting out, rolling in the toe, this is where you wanna start every day. Coming into your chair and simply tapping your bottom, weights in your heels, and you're nice and safe. If I fall, I'm tired, I'm supported, okay? So you can't injure yourself just getting up and sitting down in your chair. And if you do need some extra help, you can sit all the way down in this chair. My feet are still where they're supposed to be. Get those feet out, knees. And then I'm gonna lean forward, right? And I'm gonna stand up out of that. And once again, I'm gonna perform my air squats off my chair. Okay, you've graduated from that move. You're ready to do a supported, full point of performance air squat. So I've got this little jump box here. I'm gonna come on over. This is gonna, um, this is gonna supply some security to me because I know there's a box there. And I can collapse into it and sit down if I need to, okay? Keeping my knees nice and safe. From this position, hands are coming out, chest high. Come on on down, and there it is, and all the way up. So you might have to move your feet around a little to find out where this is. Some people feel more comfortable coming over to the side because then they really feel confident having that chair there. Good. And you can practice that. Just get a little bit of a lower seat. Another great tool to help you keep your chest high and your knees out, reaching that depth in your squat, is simply a wall. We call this a wall squat. So my arms come up above my head. And you can start a little farther back. Just get used to the movement. So if you come right up against it and you try to do it, you're gonna run into some crazy stuff, right? Um, so I like to come out here first. Find out your depth. So my hands are straight above. And coming down to the bottom of that squat and standing. So if you have a mobility issue with your shoulders or your chest, you might wanna start out here. And what might happen is your hands might come forward a little bit and your chest might drop. So you can see that movement by about six inches forward and back. So that's where the work is done, okay? Scooch up a little bit. Give yourself a little bit more of a challenge. Now I'm about, I guess I'm probably about six inches from the wall now. 
Coming on down, big breath. And you can see even my hands are coming forward a little bit. And standing up and out of that. Final test. Get even closer. So now, you may have a knee issue. Your knees may be riding into the wall. A lot of things may be happening here that you don't want to happen. So, get yourself ready. Make sure you take a big sip of air. Heels, hips out. And standing up and out of that squat. Boom. So closer, closer. The more confident you get with your mobility. And then just test that. Hey, thank you for sticking with me. Really important that you get this movement down, no matter where you are. You keep working that air squat every day. The final word I want to leave you with today is that I know we all love to build strength and we love to get on the barbell and do all our lifting, but if you can't do a really great air squat, you really have no business lifting any kind of doing any front squats or back squats or even like a kettlebell goblet squat. So check your ego. Make sure that you're hitting all your points of performance. You're keeping yourself safe. You're keeping yourself in the game. An injured you is a no good you. I made that up. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll see you in our next video series about push-ups where we'll take an intensive look at how to scale, problems you might be running into, and ways to get stronger in your push-up. Coach Mel out.